Hey, this is Anthony with Revzilla TV, where you can watch Decide and Ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new AGV AX8 Evo Naked Helmet, available at Revzilla.com. So the Evo Naked is exciting, and it's really a new flavor from AGV. Now, they've had the AX8, which is their super premium dirt helmet forever. Then they went to the AX8 DS, which was the dual sport inspired with the shield and the peak. The Evo version has some of the same nuances as the DS Evo, but really moving into 2013, what they've really done is just drop the peak, murdered it out in matte black, and given us a helmet that we've already seen strong gravitational pull from the Ducati crowd. And that's anybody from a Multistrada to a Diablo to a Monster to the V-Twin side of things. Think about a guy on a big blacked out badass Harley smoked shield wearing gear, one of those guys that doesn't like a half helmet. This is gonna go with everything. Now, you'd wear it in a lot of riding styles, and honestly, it is a full face helmet with the shield because you don't have that peak that's going to get in the way. It's not a dual sport style, but again, it has just that aggressive line, almost that fighter pilot, dirt inspired look to it because I believe this helmet did truly start in the AX8 form as the dirt helmet. Now, before I walk through all of the nuances, and I am gonna completely break it down, let's talk about fit shape. The fit's going to be the same as the AX8 Evo and the AX8 Evo DS. I consider it an intermediate oval head shape. It definitely has a fuller profile along the cheeks in the cheek pad and through the neck roll. I did about a thousand miles in the baby brother or the peaked version of this helmet in that DS version when I did the Italian legendary tour with Dionese. Love the helmet, extremely lightweight, three pounds, 1.2 ounces from a medium. That's absurd for an ECE rated helmet, but I will tell you that there are no speaker pockets in it. So my one big gripe with this helmet still is that if you wanna use a comm system, and again, you're gonna take away from the sexiness of it, but a comm system with anything that's more than a really thin speaker, you're gonna feel that, or you're gonna have to do some internal uh, surgery on the cheek pads to be able to fit them in. So keep that in mind, intermediate oval head shape, no surprises there. Remember, it's over 39 bucks, we ship for free, as always, no restock fees, we make it easy on you. Love to hear your gut reaction right now though. Just first glance at the AX8 Evo Naked. Click here, subscribe to Revzilla TV on YouTube channel, leave me questions, comments, tell me that you love it, or if it's a high side, which is my new term for what things that I like. Moving right along, let's start from the outside shell and move our way in. Told you it's three pounds, 1.2 ounces. Super, super lightweight, carbon fiber, Kevlar, and resins Dyneema here in the outer shell. Extremely light, that is the claim to fame on this very aggressive angular line shell. Now, if we look at some of the functionalities, right, and you're looking at it, one of the things, again, it's very much a flat, optically correct shield here as you're working through the front, but it's not a quick change shield release mechanism. It's a little bit more difficult. It would take a screw, it's a flathead, again, not gonna be as super fast as one of those helmets that you're expecting to do that all the time. That's just one of the trade-offs when you're coming in sub $400 on a helmet that's just, being, it's, it's very functional, very light, but it's stripped down to look really, really gnarly. Now walking through the ventilation scheme here, right? You have three main vents in the front. You have my chin vent, open and close, very easy. Vents to the face and the shield. The other nice thing with the chin vent is you're able to swap it out for the AX8 dirt version if you wanna go for more of that Bane look and just have that front foil grill going. You're gonna have two chimney vents on top, integrated with the IBS system. This has really taken, it's taken some, some flavor and DNA from the GP Tech helmet that AGV came out with, which is really developed with Rossi in the previous generation. Again, integrated into the shell, into the EPS, it's going to flow a ton of air. That's a nice touch. And you do have passive venting here in the back with my Venturis, and they're angled so you're not gonna get any rain stuck in there if you get caught in a downpour, but they do have that angle, remember, full speed, full scale air going across the top over a sphere. It creates a vacuum at speed and it's gonna pull that warm, moist air off of your scalp and out through the back of the helmet. One of the things I do think is really cool when you look at the shell though, because this ridge was originally developed to take a goggle strap, because remember it started as a dirt helmet, it just adds a really cool, interesting flair to this helmet. And on an interesting side note, when I rode the Italian Legendary Tour you know, on a Multistrada in Italy, I actually had the DS version of this helmet and I took the peak off and I just left the holes on the side because it just looked so serious. And I think they saw a lot of customers doing that and they just said, let's just make a blacked out, murdered out, no frills, murdered, or no frills naked version and go from there. So if you think about some of the other components here and let's break it down from the inside out. Again, no surprises here. It's the basics, it's what you need. So it's going to have a nice interior. It's going to be a dry, like wicking interior, removable chin curtain up front. 
on the front end of the helmet here. Remember, the Evo version got this as a softer element because it used to have that Hawksbill peak that was hard on the bottom, and in a crash, it could kind of hit your sternum. So you don't have that anymore. And you'll see some of the venting along the side of the neck roll as well, done in a molded plastic. If I begin to pull everything out, I mean, again, it's going to be double D-ring construction, dry lux, fully encompassing chin, uh, cheek pads that are going to hug you really tight. They are, they're, it's very much, it's almost a, a race fit on this bad boy. And you'll notice these cheek pads too, they come out very simply. They're also going to have a reflective element, so you have some of that nice safety baked in. Now, if I start to pull my comfort liner out, it's a 3D comfort liner. It's one of the newer styles from AGV. And we can see big cutaways in the top. Remember, a lot of this helmet was developed as a dirt helmet that knew that someone was going to be sweating, would need to breathe. So it wicks, it's antimicrobial. It's going to allow your head to breathe. Notice they're getting those snaps and those seams away from pressure point areas. They've done a nice job here. And then as we move to the interior, and you get a good gauge of how that breaks down, IVS system with those big channels, fore and aft vents coming in and out. They're gonna circulate air around and you should be good to go. And remember, if I had to nitpick anything, you're talking sub $400, insanely lightweight, very aggressive looking, but remember, it's not one of the most comm unit friendly helmets that we have, it's just not. And that's okay if you have a comm unit that has some of the bigger speakers that are a little bit thicker. And again, it's gonna take you a little bit of an extra step to change that system here, or to change out your, sh your, your shield. But honestly, if you're buying this bad boy, you better be buying a dark smoke shield and just kinda go from there. Now, the next step in your journey, after you leave me your feedback, after you leave me your questions on our YouTube channel, is I would, whoops, I would love for you to click right here and read other rider reviews at revzilla.com. Remember, you don't have to take my word for it. Start with my information, get a gauge of if it'll work for you, and then read what other hardcore riders that have bought it are saying. Outside of that, we're gonna ship for free, no restock fees. And as always, if you wanna talk to a gear geek, see us at revzilla.com or 877-792-9455. Thanks for watching my full detailed breakdown video and personal opinion of the AGV AX8 Evo Naked Helmet, available at RevZilla.com. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.